ah, just came back from church. It's hot on Sunday here in Alice. Hey, that's a relief because the Alice made the news. It was flooded. Well, I'm going to get into that. That was a long time ago. No, well, earlier this week. Okay. Um, it's really hot. When it's hot, I like a refreshing drink. If it's a refreshing drink, let me put my hands away on this thing. Refreshing drink to me is something like lychee. I like lychee. Lychee in there. It's really good. I told you before when I was in northern, uh, it was in northern Thailand. It was lychee season. It was amazing. The amount of lychee. Oh, people were just, oof, it was great. Anyway, lychee. Cool, refreshing drink. Okay. We, um, after, uh, uh, boy, right now we're in load shedding. We have no, uh, we have no electricity. It doesn't mean anything to you, but don't, don't worry about it. We just have no electricity right now. However, uh, I wanted to record this. Whenever you have the electricity back, then I'll, I'll try to post it up uh, and see what happens with that. Um, but there's some notes I have been taking. Now I'm going to be more disciplined this year than 2020. Uh, you know, I'm going to be more disciplined and actually a new decade, at, at, at the end of the old decade, in preparation for the new decade, which actually starts in 2021, then I want to be, you know, correct. So I have several notebooks. This is my notes. This is my general notes notebook. This is the book you wrote. It doesn't matter to you. I did several points there, but several things, man. But um, there's some things uh, that I want to say. Uh, a few. I don't need to do like one, two, three, four, Pfft, four. Um, here's the thing, and this has to do. Uh, this is being recorded before the New Hampshire Cau caucus, which I think happened on Tuesday, and after the Iowa caucus, which happened whenever it happened. Uh, seemed like a long time ago, but you know things happen. But um, I want to say one thing about the Iowa caucus uh, before I go on, before I go to some other stuff, and that is, um, if I have to put some context into this, this is uh, interesting. Back in, um, I guess it was the end of 2007, I had taken this trip uh, from South Africa. I was in uh, Zambia at the time uh, when the Iowa caucus was taking place. And it happened, it's a long story, but I happened to be hanging out, oh, hanging out um, with this uh, politician, a big time politician, a Zambian politician. And it's uh, basically abandoned, I'd say abandoned hotel, but it was just me and me and him, one other person, the bartender, we was watching the Iowa, the end of the, the results of the Iowa caucus, the end of the, what are the speeches from the Iowa caucus. Then Barack Obama was there. And it's interesting because his visuals, he was there on the big stage, which is him, his wife, and his children. I believe that's what it was, right? All the other politicians had their own thing. And I told him at that particular point, this be this he had one day, just one year icon, I told him, I said, he's gonna be the president. And then other things happened. <laughs> in that trip, I was someplace else when I was in the, in that trip when I uh, came back from there and I was going down to through Namibia. And I was at some place, and there was this complex, and there was these guards there, you know, black guards, and they was talking about, you know, Obama and stuff like that. And I said, he's going to be president. They said, no, they're not going to let him be president, blah, 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 blah. They said, I'm telling you, he's going to be president. Now, why did I say that? It just, I don't know. I have this thing about visuals, right? And how big visuals can actually betray you. So Obama pushed himself, not only with the smile, you have to remember, White people love black people who smile. I'm, I'm telling you this, right? Believe me. You know why Eddie Murphy was the biggest actor back in back in the back in the day because he had a great smile. I won't even get get to it, but they love they, white people love black people who smile. If you don't smile, whatever. Anyway, uh, and and so uh, 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 and so in, so that's anyway. So I told these people, and, and lo and behold, Barack Obama became president. Don't worry about that part. Let me jump now to this. Iowa caucus, when Buttigieg said that he won, right? If you look at his visuals in the background, he had a, the first row was young black women, then it was like, uh, then he had uh, uh, other uh, uh, white white women, I should say girls, they look like girls, right, like that. So basically it was like females, right? Black, white females, right? That's the visual. He's trying to con people. It ain't gonna work. That visuals is wrong. Everybody knows it's wrong. All kinds of people know it's wrong. So he ain't going where he think he's going. Let me put it that way. That's my thing for Buddha Judge. In fact, in fact, basically what he did, when I when these politicians put up this this these uh, politically correct these multi whatever, if they're not multi general whatever, whatever they do in their background, I call this political eye candy. That's what they they political eye candy. Everybody knows when you when somebody has a eye candy. You got that. 
Let me move on to that. This is one thing I really wish I could, the politicians would start saying. They were, people might say the military industrial complex. But originally, uh, when, uh, uh, when uh, uh, Eisenhower wrote that thing, it was the congressional military industrial con uh, uh, complex, which uh, basically means the, the military industrial, whatever, they get their, they can get their funding from, from uh, what do you call that, the, the politicians. So the Congress is in that. And right now it has come to fruition. What the original name was has come back. It's just that we're not calling it that. Because these uh, 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 arms dealers, whatever you want to call them, the Boeings and the, 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 the whoever get these money, you know, get all gives you a million of dollars to do what they want to do, to, to spend their money, you know, advertising on PBS or advertise wherever they're advertising on, whatever, whatever, they're advertising to their to the Congress. They, hey, 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 you know, remember us? Yeah, that's what that's about. So I just want to put that little note there. But here's some things that I, 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 I want to say. Oh, before I get into Trump, I have some things on, on Trump, right? Before I get into Trump, this is interesting. Um, uh, uh, Nico House, I'm going to try to, if I can, I'm going to put it, like, he said something interesting. Um, and we say this in a bunch of ways, but uh, he said it in a way that just struck me. He said, they, you know, treat black folks, all these parts, um, Always, when you they put it, they, they talk about they put it as victims. Oh, help these poor victims! Basically, what it comes out to. I just want to make that little another little note. Let me get to Donald Trump. This is super interesting to me. People are starting to complain. Well, Donald Trump is talking to black people. He's trying out black people. He had a State of the Union, right? And he had like four or whatever. You know, a Tuskegee Airman. Somebody just let out of jail. I don't dare. He had people all over the place. So black people, all stripes. All stripes of black people. Think about that. Okay? Okay. So he's making his move to talk to black people. So that's a visual, right? Now, you, 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 look, that's a visual. So to me, that's super interesting because he started this campaign for black people a long time ago. If you really look at it, if you really, if his first campaign, he did not talk bad about black people. When I say black people, I'm talking about um, uh, 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 ADOS, or some people want to say Foundation of Black Americans, whatever. Black Americans have been here before 1980. The, the lineage comes here before 1965. Let's put it that way. He, 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 he never talked bad about them. Think about I understand. You just check it. He never talked about it. Then when he started going, one of the things he started doing as he was president, remember, one of the first people he, he gave, the, 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 he pardoned, right? Not to, they said, oh, they, they not pardoned. Well, pardoned. They pardoned that woman from jail that, that I guess Kim Kardashian, somebody, you know, got talking, got out of jail, right? But before that, he pardoned Jack Johnson. You know, Jack Johnson, you know, the boxer, you know, he, blah, 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 blah. He, he had a sense, sense. He pardoned him. No, but that sort of slipped under the radar. But that sports people understood that. All I'm trying to say, he's been just slowly and steadily. He had a he had a, a he had a, a meeting with just this was last October because I remember I was at ADO's conference when this happened last October. He had this meeting. He brought young black black Republicans, young black Republicans, you know, like that. And he told him he he told him he said you you built this you, your people built this country. He said that. He said that out of out of Donald Trump's mouth, you know. I'm just saying, right? Now we skip forward to the to the, to the thing. That, so he's dealing with black folks, right? He's gonna he's gonna do some stuff. All he, all he got to do. Oh, oh let's talk about Nico. How, um, my man T West has a good. Maybe I'll try to get his his um, link too. He has a good commentary. One of the things he was saying that. Um, uh, Donald Trump did an executive order that got something done. You know what I mean? Well, it, 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 it put fire under Congress, and Congress had to pass this bill that he put this executive order on because, well, they didn't want to be outdone by him. So just think, if Donald Trump has an executive order about reparations, what that's going to do? Whoa! And he can do it anytime he wants to. Because it's Donald Trump. He, Donald, he's a New York hustler. Y'all got to get that in your head. But that's with them. I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna end this point. This is very interesting, super interesting to me. As you know, as you may may know, this whole socialist label, whole social label, is not working too well for folks. Donald did something very interesting. He was talking about he was talking about the, the candidates that's running, whatever. You know, uh, Warren talked about something and said whatever he's talking about. Uh, whoever he was talking about, right? When he got to Bernie Sanders. 
He says, he says he's a socialist, but to me, he's a communist. He's trying to move socialists to communists. But communists do, the socialists, he thought, had a bad reputation in people's minds. Ah, that did not resonate much. But communists, I suppose, still has a bad, you know, Russian communists, whatever, still has a bad thing in people's whatever. So he switched a little bit to communists. Now, he's, now maybe I'm watching to see if he talks about, oh, Bernie's a communist or a socialist communist, whatever it is. It's very interesting. Donald, let me tell you. We had Al Donald Trump here in South Africa. I said, we might come I'm, I'm, I'm American, not South African. Jacob Zuma was Al Donald Trump. <laughs> You're not gonna know what I'm talking about, but let me put it this way. When I first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end on this. When I first came to South Africa in 2003, there were several names, you know, and Becky was, uh, was the, uh, no, Medico was, no, 2003, and Becky was the um, um, president, whatever have you. So you heard his name. But the name that kept on coming up was Don, uh, was uh, Zuma, Zuma. In the press, you always hear was Zuma, 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 Zuma. So when it came time for him, and he did sort of things too. You know, he got rid I mean, he did stuff. But when it came for him time to run for president, that's all people knew was Zuma. It's his name, you know? Trump, 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 Trump. All you're hearing is Trump. So people were not informed. You know, yeah, you got to enter. Or it's just people, that's his name. His name is resonating. So when you're in the thick of things, you might just... You understand what I'm saying. So I just want to put these little political points to you. Because I got some other stuff I got to do. And I'm not, I'm not trying to post a lot this this month or maybe while I'm here because it costs a lot. While I'm here in the States, you know, when I get back, maybe you know, I might go back down to my two to three a week and see what happens. But uh, that's it for now. Just remember, we're in a political season right now. There's a lot of things we must do. But what you must not do is react to Donald Trump, react to these people who have eye, who have political eye candy, <laughs> all this stuff. You gotta really do your research and 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 know for yourself. Okay, know for yourself. Maybe two or three other people in your circles, and then you might be in the know. Maybe you might not be. You might not. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, that's a little message for me. T from the Patterson segment, trying to defend, letting you know what I only suspect. Right here in uh, in very hot city, South Africa. Eastern Cape.